So now that we have our blender recipe, the instructions for the rotation, and our ingredients, the house right here, we're now ready to output. So I'm going to go down to my printer output icon and scroll down, make sure I'm at 100% here, and I'm going to find my output folder because this is where we're also going to name the file that is going to be created. So put the date, 2402.12 for today, and this is a house spin. And I do like to put how many seconds if this is the longer 10 second version. This is a th three second version. So just one simple spin. And you can see I'm actually rendering a cycles version in the background to show you that when it's rendering, you will see this green cover up the icon in the taskbar slowly but surely more quickly in the case of a non cycles render. So I'm doing this higher quality render with cycles in the background. It also shows you that at the end, it is actu actually going to put what frames were rendered. So that also tells us that this is a three second render. So we are going to include our name. So house spin three second and put your name on it as well. Without this in there, it's going to be problematic to know which file is which because it will simply put those numbers in there so that there's some sort of a name. Be careful not to click on anything either, because then it will add whatever you put here on top of the other name. It can get kind of convoluted. So just make sure you have a nice simple name here and accept. And to render, we have to actually go to the render menu and render animation. You can see that it's working its way through. So even though it's working in the background on a second render, you can have more than one Blender file open at a time. It's creating this one, spending less than a second on each frame. So 90 frames will not take very long. It's over halfway through already. And we can go and see that file being created here in the Blender output folder. You wanna make sure that it finishes before you do anything else. So we have that fully rendered version right here, 90 frames, very, very quickly. I'm just gonna close this and we'll play this quick three second render right here. Notice it added the one through 90 at the end. So I play this, it will rotate around one full time. And since zero and 360 are the same angle, we are just going to now Repeat that, press play, and we can have our house looping with that simple three-second spin. 